What's up YouTubers, here with the Honda Ridgeline. If you're having issues with your infotainment unit, for example, your backup camera's not working properly, your navigation's not working well, your screen gets stuck, you're having audio issues, CarPlay's not connecting, mirror link's not working. Here are two possible solutions to fix this. One's a reset and one's a restart. Your unit may ask you to restart your unit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press and hold the volume audio button. Now, on my 2022 Ridgeline, if I don't have that warning to reset the screen, this reset by holding the power button for about 5 to 10 seconds with the car not off, but with it on ignition position 1. You can also try it with the car running. To restart the unit, so what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold the volume for about 5 to 10 seconds. You'll see the screen cycle through. Now, the second type is to do a factory restore of the infotainment system if that basic restart does not work. Be mindful that this will reset any preset settings that you have for the unit. So here's how to do it. All right, with the car on is come back to any menu that you are using this back button right over here till you see this as an option. You might have to scroll through your other options. All you're looking to do is hit that menu button and that will take you to the main screen or you might have to press that back button. Go ahead and use the arrows till you get to the last screen. Okay, once we're at the main screen right over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit settings. Once we're in the settings option to look for system. Once we see system, we're gonna come up top over here and using this little arrow, we're gonna scroll all the way till we get to other. Then once we get to other, we're gonna do factory data reset. Okay, now this will restore the system settings such as brightness, volume, default, all the personal data will be cleared. So I'm not looking to do that right now. I don't want to lose my preset settings, but this is how you do it. This should help with all types of issues, navigation issues, screen issues, connect issues, and whatnot. If you're still having issues, make sure that your phone is fully updated, all your apps are updated. Make sure you have a genuine cable if you're connected to the system via cable. And sometimes if you're connected via cable, you may want to turn off Bluetooth on your phone so that they're not interacting and creating an issue. Like, share, subscribe, put in the comment section if this worked for you, and see you on the next one.